we may get some brand new forms of Zygarde within Legends ZA. So if you didn't know, I'm sure everybody knows this, but Legends ZA is heavily based around Zygarde, as you know, you can infer from the name and the colors and everything. So Zygarde is going to be a huge factor in the game, and there's probably going to be some new forms of him. Currently, we only have three forms of him. We have 10% form Zygarde, and then Zygarde 50%, and then the complete form. So the 10% form is the dog-looking Zygarde. 50% is like the serpent-looking Zygarde, and then the complete form is him standing up looking like a boss. So we only have those three so far. So Zygarde kind of has like a hive mind. So he has pieces of him, these Zygarde cores kind of just all around the region that he can kind of check up on and look over the local ecosystem, essentially. So that's kind of what he 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 does. So with Legends EA, we're most likely going to get some brand new forms of Zygarde. I don't think we're going to get a ton, but I could definitely see us getting maybe two, maybe even three new forms. So right here on the screen, I have a picture of some fan-made Zygarde forms. This guy's name on Reddit is made by Peppers. I believe he's the artist, but if I'm wrong, please comment down below. So he made some fan art of some different percentages of Zygarde. So there's a 25% Zygarde that looks like a dog, kind of like an evolution, I'd say Zygarde. 35% Zygarde, which looks like a crab. 50% obviously the serpent looking one. And then 75% looking like Articuno up there, you know what I'm saying? A bird. And then we got 85% Zygarde as a dinosaur, which is really cool. But one thing to note that currently the three forms of Zygarde are apparently based off of Loki's children based on Norse mythology. With that being said, I don't know if other forms of Zygarde would have to be based off of different Norse mythology or not. I don't know if they could just have those three be based off of Loki's children. But apparently different forms of Zygarde appear depending on the threat level that he's kind of facing or has to deal with. So with the Zygarde cores based so with the Zygarde cores just split out, spread out around Kalos region, Zygarde can kind of detect different threat levels throughout the entire region itself and then communicate from core to core because it's like a hive mind. If you a good way to think of this is like Venom from Marvel, like Venom is a hive, like they're part of a hive mind, so like all the symbiotes are co like connected, like they all share the same brain essentially, even though they kind of are like their own beings in a way. Hopefully that makes sense. It's pretty interesting. It's kind of confusing, but it makes sense. But I've seen some people talk about like like a theory of what if we have a Zygarde like 1% form or something like that, just some random like a Zygarde core or something from the start of the game. We slowly kind of, we slowly raise that Zygarde core to be into different percentages that we kind of use to unlock different forms that we can use for different methods of travel, just like how Legends Arceus, we have different Pokemon to like fly, to go up mountains, go on water. But what if we had that exact same kind of concept, but with different forms of Zygarde? So as we, you know, go on with the game, we get a form of Zygarde that could fly, a form of Zygarde that can swim across the waters, a form of Zygarde that can climb mountains and rocks and stuff like that. That would be actually really cool, and I feel like that could actually be a potential to be in the game. Because modern day Pokemon games have different, like, types of travel. In past Pokemon games, you have travel based on a move that you teach a Pokemon, and you have to unlock that move, and you have to teach it to a certain Pokemon to be able to, you know, swim, or dive, or fly, whatever it may be. But now, but now with Pokemon Legends Arceus, you had, like, four, I think it was four different Pokemon that you used for different forms of travel that you unlock that are, like, your buddy Pokemon that you could call in anywhere. And with Scarlet and Violet, you used Cordon or Maradon, whichever one you had for whatever game you had, and you could use that single legendary Pokemon to have different forms of travel, which is pretty unique. So it'd be kind of cool if they incorporated this into Legends ZA with that same exact concept, but with one Pokemon with different forms. I think that would be extremely cool. So I think it's pretty safe to say we're going to get a different form, at least one. I got to say at least just one form of Zygarde within Legends ZA. I think that would be really cool. And I think a flying Zygarde form would be really, really interesting. So let me know what you guys think. Do you want a new form? There's also some leaks of a negative or minus percent form coming into the game, which, once again, that's a leak. That's a rumor. Probably is wrong, but who knows? It's still kind of cool to think about. Like, what if we start off the game with a negative form Zygarde or something like that? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.
Yes. Yeah.